what makes it see the infrared is um, on the inside there's called what is it's a charged coupled device it's the sensor that makes it see in the dark and over it is called a <clears throat> infrared filter it blocks out most of it but you can test the sensitivity of your device by uh, you can point like a remote at it you can see it blinking <laughs> or you can take what is it, an infrared LED light and just point at it and you can see now you can see it but you can't really see it there <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll start by opening it up and just keep your screws in place when you do take it apart because you'll have extra screws if you don't when putting it back together screws are out, you can pop off. Now, what not to touch and what to touch. This thing right here, it's focusing. That's the capacitor for the flash. You do not want to touch the terminals because you're going to get shocked with about 330 volts of electricity. It uh, happened to me once. And this is really focusing. This right here, that's the lens. And we don't have to open any further because you can twist it off. And inside, you're going to see that little shiny chip that's the CCD. And this right here, that's the infrared filter. So we want to cut that off. And you got to be careful so you don't cut yourself. You just want to trim around the edges, see if you can just pop it off. Sometimes it could be difficult, and other times it should just come right off. But gentle because you don't want to scratch the lens itself. not want to come off. And once it's off, you can see the lens, you can see right through it. So you're going to make sure it's all full of dust. You can just use any cleaning cloth and just clean it off. And since this is a twist on, it's not going to, you're going to probably put it on wrong. You have to test it so it's to make sure that it's in focus because if it's too loose or too tight, it won't focus. And again, when doing this, don't touch the capacitor or you're going to get shocked like crazy. doesn't want to turn on while it's so we're just gonna guesstimate and because originally it was glued to where it was so we'll just try to find where it was glued and we'll put it back together
Sorry, I'm going to turn off the lights. Now you can see. The camera can see full infrared. Well, this camera can also. So you can. Okay, you can turn the lights on. And now with just the infrared filter off, it can still see infrared light, but it'll combine it with visible light. So you want to completely block it out. So combining about either like two negative slides together, you could tape them on. Okay. Now with like a camera like this, it still has the seat the infrared filter on but I don't want to take it off because it was an expensive camera and I don't want to risk breaking it. So you can create a homemade filter which is two color negative slides on a pipe ending that I cut off and you could just slip it over. Are you going to turn off the lights for a second? Well, you can see it's a cloudy day today, so you can't really see much, but I'll show you some pictures of it in action. Turn the lights on.